Grab a seat when you get a chance. <laughs> Everyone tells me I'm like Joe Nathan. Whenever I go, that's a great compliment. Either that or Matt the Tone. I got better hair than Matt the Tone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank everyone that came out. There are more people coming. We have a lot of politicians who are very important people that would like to pay homage to Kojo and, and, and to our honorees, and we need to get them out of here. Um, so, without further ado, I'd like to introduce a very dear and near friend of mine, a friend of Kojo's, city, a friend of New York, a friend of Staten Island, our city controller, Scott Stringer. Happy the controller is here, but a very historical thing recently happened, which Kosher worked together with the interfaith community. The issue came up with kosher and halal meals in the public school system. The children want to have those meals. And thanks to the hard advocacy of Kosher working with the controller and other elected officials, but I got Scott, I'm gonna blame him tonight. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, and it's really great to be here on a beautiful night. One of the things a controller does, because people ask, what is a controller? But we do negotiate weather. And when uh, Scott and uh, Mendy called me and said, we want the most beautiful day in Staten Island to celebrate, uh, I was able to oblige. Uh, tell him that is a true story. No, uh, I, I, I take every word. But to all the elected officials from Staten Island, if we can give them a great round of applause. Because they do to um, great borough president from the Bronx, Ruben Diaz, give him a round of applause. And our council general, who is the deputy council general, who is here. Who's the tall guy over here? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. but, but I do want to say that this Kojo really represents the best of Staten Island. And at a time when we are seeing hate crimes and attacks on not just Jewish people, but all people, it is imperative and critical that we have organizations like this. Scott and Mendy and all of you do an amazing job representing the fabric of this city. And to commemorate all your work today, I just wanted to come by and present to you with one of the most important, important proclamations you can ever get. It's more important than a governor proclamation, though don't tell him that. It's more important than a mayoral proclamation. You, you can, can tell him you that. Can tell. I don't want to. Just kidding. Um, because this is the money it's proclamation, the right? So on behalf of 8.4 million New Yorkers, uh, with a lot of love and affection for all of you in this room, I just want to present to the Council of Jewish Organizations of Staten Island on your 51st anniversary. May you have many, many more, and I look forward to working with all of you in the years to come. Scott and Mendy, thank you for everything. 50 years. 50 years of serving the community, 50 years of advocacy, over 10 million meals served to people in this wonderful borough. It's not just the Jewish community, it is the community of Staten Island that we try to serve. We have medal day ceremonies. We have, we, have, we have ceremonies, we have ceremonies teaching about the opioid crisis with our district attorney. We try to, we try to educate people. We have wonderful friendships with our ele elected officials. They're not just our elected officials, they're our friends. And we, they all deserve a round of applause. It's the, it's the Kojo Kosher Food Pantry. It's the Kojo Security Committee that is run by our wonderful friend, Ari Weiss. Ari Weiss, thank you so much for all the work that you do, keeping us safe. I just, I just want to, you think about 50 years, and, I, and I've been around a lot of Kojos in New York, and uh, you were a founding member of the JCRC, and we have a Michael Miller, a dear friend of ours, constantly says to us, Okay, Mr. Diaz, let's go, Michael Miller. A 
our good friend that constantly speaks and says, whenever he's in our presence, that we are the most, the most busiest coach. Oh, that's bad English, I know, but I had a couple of wines, so it's okay. Um, in New York, and because of Mendy and, and, and his heart and his whip that he drives me to do whatever he needs me to do, we stand here today, 50 years later, strong as can be. We stand here 50 years later, ready for the next 50 years. And we stand here 50 years later out of the birth, the birth, the necessity after the Six Day War for advocacy in Staten Island for the Jewish community. We're here today and we're going to be here for the next 50 years. And we thank all of you for being here. I found a brother seven years ago. I found a friend seven years ago. I found a partner seven years ago. And it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce to you the heart and soul of Kojo, the president of Kojo. And he will be on the clock for three and a half minutes. <laughs> Mr. Mandy Mirajan. I want to call upon our good guest, our good friend, who traveled with the four line from the concourse, the borough president of the Bronx, Michelle Ruben Diaz. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mr. Borough President. Scott, to you and Mendy, uh, and to all of the uh, executive board members of Kojo. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to say that it's a pleasure to be here. The work that Kojo does is important. It is really God's work. You take care of the sick. You take care of the homeless. You don't judge on who walks through your doors. And that's what we've been doing out in the Bronx. Uh, I really appreciate all of the work that this organization does, that has been doing over the last 51 uh, years, and I know uh, there's gonna be at least another 50 years to come. So with that said, uh, from God's country, the Boogie Down Bronx, Here you go. to you Kojo and Shaolin, all right. I just want to proclaim and give you a proclamation uh, to the Council uh, of Jewish Organizations of Staten Island Day. It's Island. God bless you all and continue to do God's work. We have a presentation from uh, Assemblyman uh, Ron Castorini Jr. Thank Kojo uh, for all of the work that they do, not only here in Staten Island, but throughout the city. Uh, it's really remarkable when you watch them in action, when you watch all that they do, all of the people that they feed, all the people that they touch, and stay true to the values. And values are the most important thing. You think about it, being true to the nation state of Israel, being true to the beliefs, being true to who you are. And that's so important. So again, uh, just to be brief, it's really a pleasure to be here. It's my honor to present this citation, and I wish you all a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Seventy years ago, Israel was founded in 51. Kojo. So Kojo's doing pretty good, right? But what's important is that we all focus on the grassroots work of Kojo. We focus on the friendship and bond between the United States of America and the people of Israel. And that we together stay strong and fight any adversity that comes our way. Whether it is hunger, whether it is homelessness, whether it is poverty, whether it's illiteracy, whether it is terrorism, whether it is uh, an anger against democracy, which is the only way that any government can ever work, as Churchill said, the worst of all uh, governments uh, except for all the others, and that is the bond that binds us. So, on behalf of the people of Staten Island, on behalf of the people uh, who I work with, the 170 strong in the DA's office, let me just say, to our friends who are here from the Consul General's office from Israel, welcome. I understand that the people of Staten Island are very strong and are supportive of you. To all the honorees. I'd really like to congratulate Kojo on the great work that they do for not only the disadvantage for senior citizens, for children, uh, bringing us together when there is a hate crime that we strongly as a community denounce it. But they have just been such amazing proponents for such a great relationship, a strong relationship, a healthy relationship between the United States and Israel. And I feel now that I'm at the Oscars and my music has come out, and it's time for me to get up the stage. If we could provide help or assistance just one more, we are doing our job. And what I love about it, because next year we'll be talking about helping and assisting two more people, 
two more communities, two more families. So congratulations, Kojo, on all the great work you do, and 50 plus many, many, many more. Represent to me, and Kojo represents to me uh, compassion. Uh, one of the most important things that we have, something that's clearly lacking, something we need to focus on in our community. So everywhere that I see Staten Islanders uh, exercising compassion, showing compassion to other Staten Islanders, is uh, something that I like to attend, to go to, to celebrate, and, and to really revel in. And that's what that's what you mean to me, and that's what Kojo means to me. I hope that's what the public administrator's office means to the rest of Staten Island. I congratulate all of you. I congratulate the wonderful work you do. I congratulate, of course, all of tonight's honorees. It's my pleasure. I'd like to thank uh, New York City Controller Scott Stringer. I want to uh, thank Bronx uh, Borough President Ruben Diaz, DA Michael McMahon, uh, our friends from New York uh, State Legislator, and uh, all of our friends from the New York, uh, New York City Police Department. Thank you very much for keeping us safe. The State of Israel is celebrating this year, so we're celebrating 70 years of our independence. Kojo celebrates 50 plus one, and the State of Israel is a miracle. In 70 years we achieved so much, and I think that Kojo has, has its own share. In, uh, in, in the miracle of the state of Israel. And I wanted to thank you, to thank all of you, to thank you for your support. Very much in the Thank you. Thank you. It is my honor to be honored by Kojo, one of the only beacons of light of Jewish unity in an often seen as fragmented Jewish world. It unites the Jewish community across religious and political grounds finding common issues and goals that our different groups share to help build a safer, more co cohesive community for Jews and our neighbors. Kojo's membership consists of synagogues, the JCC, and other organizations that together address the diverse needs of our community. On the, by the mound.